Hi, I'm Connor McCray, and I'm the uh, co-creator of the comic book series Kill Shakespeare, and this is my 150. So picture it, Toronto, 2005. A young man working in the journalistic world, and his mother, who is headed off to Vancouver because uh, my grandmother was really ill at the time. Uh, she'd been ill for a while, and there'd been a lot of these close calls of sort of, was she going to pass or was she not? And she really fought. So my mom was out there several times. Uh, this time, it was kind of October, and I, I just had the sense that things might be different this time around. Um, you know, my grandmother and I had been pretty close. I had a lot of really good memories with her, as I guess everybody does with their grandparents. And I was biking south on Young Street. Young and Bloor is like the big intersection in Toronto, the busiest one. I remember I was uh, delivering off something for work, and there was this call from Vancouver. I don't recognize the number, but I know instinctively it's my mom. And I also know instinctively that she's going to call me to tell me my grandmother has died. And I just, I just don't want to take the call. And I'm biking, like I said, south on Young through Bloor, and I make this illegal, very illegal left-hand turn through the intersection, and this pigeon comes flying down and hits me right in the chest. And pigeons don't do that. And so immediately I pull to the side of the road, and the first thought I have is, that's my grandmother. She's turned into a pigeon, and she's hit me to tell me to stop being a dumbass because my mother is calling me from Vancouver, and if, if I'm not ready to hear the news, my mother needs to tell somebody what that news is. I call, and I'm like, hey, mom, was that, you know, is this you? And she's like, yeah, I borrowed your aunt's phone. I'm like, did grandmother die? And she's like, yeah, she died about 30 minutes ago. I said, yeah, she just turned into a pigeon and hit me in the middle of Bloor and Young Street. And there's this pause, and my mom says, that sounds like your grandmother. And we had this really good chat about just what was going on. And my mom and I have never been, like, demonstrably close, but that was probably the best conversation we ever had. And I like to say it is because my grandmother, being the tough woman she was, knew that her grandson needed a little smack upside the head, or in this case, a beak to the chest.